Essentially, this is one to go down in the books. We've got the top four teams in the country to be able to battle it out. Having a little bit of a chat with these teams earlier, nobody really cares about second, third, and fourth seemingly. They all want that 25k. They're all going for that number one spot. Absolutely. Now, I think it's not only just the money, right? It's the bragging rights. You want to be, you want to be the land man. That's you want to be the landable. You want to be the team that everyone remembers, and the, you've got to, you're going to have the ring. And this is effectively the champs here for South Africa. Oh, like you said, man, there are so many storylines developing here. Yeah, man. Everyone's got something to prove. Dogs of War vibe, and they're in their chairs. They're getting warmed up. They're about to get into the lobby on their side of things. 16 and 9 and 19 and 8. These guys are really doing it all, but it doesn't matter because in the point, it is vibe and esports keeping their lead. Pluto staying alive by some miracle. Gets out of uh, gets out for the time being. Goes for the tower and he gets the W. It's going to be Pluto with a massive 3v2. Yeah, to be able to play. Raz turns around, picks up one. Potentially coming in. Does he get? No, he doesn't get the connection. Raz picks up the kill somehow. To be able to find through the opposition. And he gives away his position there Ooh. and goes down. It's Vyman who pick up another map here and bring it up to 2-0 two to zero up against what some might call the, the tournament favorites, DOW next. It's also important that they push it towards heal. Raxi picks again. up another. Will they it's be able to get the green light? Out. Yes, he jumps on in and just like that, Vyman pick up another round. And you can see that player number one in terms of the top side of your screen. As Vyman, oh, they get the crosses. The moment is going to be Rain Ryan that picks up the kill there on Scorpio, but Heroes trades one right oh, back. Close. And it's going to be Raz, and they pick it up. And there we go. DOW bring it right back. Find Ooh. yourselves on the back of Hay Bells at the moment. As it's going to be Enigma that picks up one of his own. DOW. Enigma coming up strong. I mean, we said his versatility of weapon use is huge. Raz Speaky, the man who's come up with the kill. Once again, a second here. On to stay on board with Raz. This is absolutely huge from his side as he picks up three. Oh my goodness, Pluto threads the needle! He's gonna follow through here. Oh, he picks him up through the door! 23 seconds. It's just Pluto to make the dreams happen! He's gonna find one, but the trade is instant! The reverse sweep is in! It is gonna be Dogs of War! Three rounds in a row! The reverse sweep the comes reverse. on through! Oh, it comes on through, and it comes on huge here for Dogs of War, who make it through to tomorrow. They can sit back and relax and become spectators for the rest of today. My voice is definitely going to be gone by the end of the weekend, yep. or probably even by tomorrow. It's Highborn Esports taking on Aerial Gaming, and oh, this is a match that I can't wait to be able to see. Both of these teams have a little bit to prove, right? Aerial on the other side of things has always been second to DOW in some ways, and uh, they're here this weekend to be able to prove a big point. Highborn on the other side of things, they're new to this whole LAN experience. Break off the break indeed. At this point in time, you can rotate late as you want because it uh, seems like the, the those breaks are going to be Mage with three! Mage! <laughs> Hold it here for his team. Oh my gosh, slammed! He makes his way in. And uh, this is a huge one for him to try control. He oh oh my goodness, Slam! Who are you? <laughs> what have you just done? They can make it damn close. They can actually win if they hold a full 62. Yeah. Go down now for Aerial. It's going to get a little Ooh, bit frantic. Zaza. Make it three. Zaza's getting alive. Yeah, he's finding his move. Make it four. It's going to be slammed. He gets put into the grave. Oh my goodness! Get bored with Zaza once again doing some fantastic work just to become a nuisance to the opposition. Highborn Gaming pick up that round. If there was going to be an opportunity for Aerial to turn this game on its head, it's right here, right now on this map. They have to. DOW did it earlier, and they've wanted to prove time and time again whatever DOW do, we can do better. <laughs> Hold up this, this he is still going, and he Ooh. finds another! Make oh it 13! Look at the boy! He's gonna make it! He's gonna <laughs> find oh. him! He lost his name, but he doesn't have ammo! Pins it right back! Yeah. Find it! Oh. Slam with the oh. It's the slam show! 28 and 10! At this point in time, Mage jumps someone up, but it looks like he's there to be able to reflect it. Mage picks up two. Oh, Major shooting. Yeah, absolutely, you're down. And Mage finds another. Smell him through oh, the doorway. There's no one close. That's going to be it. I mean, the script has been flipped in a lot of ways here because we are going into this map number five, and this is a huge differential between both of these teams. It's it's the mental game too, right? Oh my goodness, the game sense is in! Reggie with the read, he gets the kill! Player gets spotted topside, Magix picks up one, now the door gets opened, it's slammed to be able to work his way through! Slammed! Moody! Slammed is gonna be slamming all day! 25 seconds left on the clock, Zaza finds one! Oh, 
Joey goes a little bit early, does Mage and Zaza, they collapse and Highborn Esports come out on top of that one. Dancing, oh, dancing. oh, it's over! And Aerial Gaming come out on top and take the match overall. Huge, huge plays right at the last. And even the webcams are falling down. Thanks, mate. Honestly. Written, written in the stars were two reverse sweeps to start off our, our land. Ridiculous. I kind of feel that this is where this, I mean, we've run out of what I think is considered warm-up time. This is it now. This is the, the decider between both of these teams going forward. And who's going to set the tone for the rest of the series? The next couple of heels are going to be vital. Absolutely. And uh, vital is going to be Fryos looking for the third. He's going to find it. Players with the most experience in terms of on the land department, but it's just not clicking for him here in this map. Absolutely not, but you know who is clicking? It's going to be none other than Praxius. He is just on a tear. Online, on oh. land, doesn't matter. The Lanimal is out. He's looking for another. That's going to be a second to the three. It's a couple of smiles all around from the vibe and esports side of things. Oh, dear. It's the bop and oh. knee, but it's Praxi with the gunny. The shadow. Oh, Praxi, the oh. snakey snake. Yes, there we go. Maybe they want to make a step for themselves. They want to come out against yep. they, they want to be like, if everyone else can reverse sweep, why can't we? Why? Yeah. At the moment, Coach has been having a fantastic game as Kuto picks up one. Magix trades that one out. Thor coming out on top for Highborn Esports as they pick up a couple of massive kills from the bottom. This is huge. This is huge from Highborn at the moment, picking up the kills off the top side, and it's going to be one more tick that's needed for them at this point in time. Vibe and Arini, they need to make their way towards the site at the moment, but it's Highborn, it's going in their favor. Braxy picks up one, and just like that, it's Highborn! As the Highborn Esports are beginning to wow. fire on all cylinders. Oh my gosh, Highborn Esports take the lead here. Time Mikey. to heal Might! And the W might come on through off Oh my kill. gosh, it's Highborn! <laughs> Talk about a time for you to rise up to the occasion. It's oh. a snipe off and it's going to be the boomstick from Magix. Oh my goodness, Braxy! Oh, traded out there. Zaza picks up his second. Oh, Zaza spots him out and picks him up! Oh my! All by himself. Coach. Oh! Oh! No! no he almost did it! But it's Highborn! They clinch the map! They take it! And you can see what it means to them here today, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, today, I think that's going to be a little bit of the story that we need to be able to focus on is how are these teams going to start day two? Day one had a lot of adrenaline. Will day two have a couple of crashes in terms of uh, their mental gameplay? I think that's something they need to be very conscious of. You know what, let's just throw the script out the window as we load into map number one, HP on the go. I can't believe it. We're here at Championship Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are there, but the break is just so good. But day one, three. Oh my goodness, Mage has come to play when it comes out to Champions of Sunday. I mean, from his side of things, this might very well be his last tournament. Firmly in the control yeah. of the wall, but he might have Whoa. turned it into Bevan! Time and time again, these next kills are going to be absolutely crucial. Scorpio, how are you doing that? He comes up with a three-piece. Well, three go down, make it all four. And it's what? contested last second here. It's close to that down. It's Dogs of War coming out, barking, growling, and ready. Hero Gaming tried to be able to make their way forward. You've got to love this play here coming in from... And he, gets it. and he gets it. Scorpio's the snaking man of note. At this point in time, tries to dance. How does he do it? At this point in time, the defuse comes in. Two to zero in terms of total map score. They see things I can't see. Rechi, you absolute beast at the moment. Smoky! Oh, Rechi! Because he's currently finding three in a row for himself. Oh, Bibbs. Right. Bibbs is here. 20 and 9. Look at him. Oh, he's going to be batted with three. Aerial Gaming come out swinging when it comes down to control. Aerial Gaming are fighting back for every single second that they can get. The question is, he's going to make it. Oh, no. to take it down. One for slammed. Huge, huge for slammed here. They keep Seven it going. Seconds. We've got around about a couple of seconds to be able to bring the curse and bring it back to life. At this point, they jump on in. There's one more player to throw in the corner. Aerial Gaming are coming out on top of this one. Scorpio is left. Oh, 
Come on, man, defuse it! <laughs> and Richie is the ball that they're juggling. It is Dogs of War that break the curse and bring themselves into the grand final and take one step closer to that 25,000 Rand prize pool. All right. Load it into map number one, Losers Finals. Highborn Esports have brought their fans, and sometimes it's the audience that can make a difference, but we're going to have to wait and see. Aerial Gaming, they are firing. We've seen it from their side of things. Keep that pace for the rest of the game as Bevan is starting to heat up a little bit here. You can see he's feeling a bit confident, oh. and he's going to find two. Magix jumps in just in time. Contest it. Magix holds up tall. It's Magix with two. Magix with three. Bringing the Magic here today, right now. Is this the turnaround that Highborn need? He needs to get in. He needs to get in. Down 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 down. Across the aerial, Mighty trades that out to the Bevs. And oh, Mage comes out with a second. Good trade out there for them. Oh, Bevs dancing. Bevs with the follow through. Aerial Gaming making a quick round there. A huge opportunity here for Mighty to uh, show he's worth here. Mighty picks up two in quick succession, bringing it down to a 1v1. Mighty! Oh! <laughs> Someone stays alive here on the other side of things, and it's going to be Highborn with some work to be able to do here in this 1v1. And Mage comes up! Kills. It's going to be Magix doing some work of his own. Magix! No one attacking the point! They're oh, splitting oh, 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 incorrectly! Highborn are back in it! Here comes a potential break from Magix. The pinch is in. Magix with two. Magix looking for the third. He's going to be able to find it. Drinks everywhere. Top bedroom. Magix, the only hope he gets taken down. There's no one. Aerial Gaming, the king of clutch. 3 1. There we go. You have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is Aerial Gaming that take the map and take that series. Man, it has been, it feels like it's all accumulated to this. The atmosphere is electric. The tension is uh, thick enough to cut with a knife. This is this, the make or break moment Here for it both is. of these teams. It is Nick. the final match of the Shift Gaming Experience. It's time to get loud. It's time to get ready. Make your voice heard as it is Dogs of War taking on Aerial Gaming. Let's go, Trout. Let's make this happen. W looking very, very solid. Oh, D.O.W. This is what you like to see from them. And now it's an opportunity for Dogs of War to hold it. But player number three, Reggie, once again coming through. Unfortunately for him, Hero shuts him down. Excellent hold here from the side of Dogs of War, and Hero's still getting wow. mixy with it. It's there for a quick trade. More streaks in the possession of Dogs of oh. War. Hero is still absolutely frying everything. Majority of the time, Bivs trying to be able to find a capture point. Yes, jumps up on top. Now the flank is in full play. Pulls their attention away from side. Five oh. seconds is all between the two teams. Look at that enough. No one is close. It's going to be Dogs of War who throws it out. In a 1v2 situation. Up here. As, ooh, there we go. Slam needed to win that chow. Name of the game. And Heroes finds a headshot. All out will need to get made. Oh my goodness. And it doesn't matter. It is going to be the Dogs of War that wrap it up. Map number two, two to zero. Ariel has come out firing when it comes down to map number three. Looks like they pick up B and just like that they make it look so easy. He finds the opening, he's gonna find the first. He's and gonna the find second. the second. Richie staying alive, there Blade finding another and back to back attack while it's Ariel gaming. He's looking to take control here. 17 v 9, Nine. 43 seconds. Dogs of War who fight their way back into this control and they do manage to assert themselves. We are going to round number five of this. And B is currently being picked up by this Dogs of War squad. But it's Enigma who puts in work. Mage gets the shutdown. But they need to decap if they want to stay alive. They're slammed up for now. A secured. A minute and eight seconds left. 8 v 12. 23 seconds left on the clock. Mage and Bevs. But this heal will get picked up potentially right here, right now. Dogs of War are looking to secure the title. And ladies and gentlemen, you have your shift game and experience champions. It is Dogs of War securing the back. And it's going to be heroes with the two time back to back land champions he needs different teammates to do it but it doesn't matter dogs of war close out the grand finals in a 3-0 yeah, ladies and gentlemen your shift gaming experience yeah.